What's going on everybody? Dots Gaming here and today I'm bringing you guys a beginner guide to the armory system in the Elder Scrolls Online. So with the new Deadlands patch that just came out for ESO, one of the single greatest quality of life things was added into the game. That is the armory system and I'm actually surprised that there are a lot of people out there that really don't know how the system fully works and how much power the system actually has. And so I wanted to make today's beginner guide to explain to you how the armory system works what's so great about it and why you're going to want to make sure that you do use it so the armory system is a new thing that was just added with the deadlands patch and it is this little table over here and you can get this table for free you thankfully do not need to buy it from the crown store if you go into the crown store you will see it it will be in here if you just search armory it i obviously can't get it because i've claimed it already but you will see it in the crown store you can pick it up for yourself and then place it in your house. And when you place the armory in the house, you will be able to open it up and see this window. Now, basically what the armory allows you to do is save character builds. So you're able to save your current champion points, your current attribute split, any gear you're wearing, your current abilities, and um, your any current like curses, or like whether it be vampire or werewolf, as well as your outfit the only thing it does not save is your mundus stone so currently there is an npc in the store that will allow you to access this little armory table remotely i personally do not recommend getting him because the armory does not change your mundus at the current moment in time if and when it does you can use the npc and it will be worth buying but because it doesn't change your mundus and you'd have to basically come back to your house to you know maybe run over here and change your mundus anyway there's really no point in the guy because you would, you know, you need to come back and change the Mundus. So oh, don't waste your money on him. The table is free. Use the table. But at a base, you get two different profiles that you're able to make for yourself. And then you can unlock other ones for the crown from the crown store for 1500 crowns. Now, I want to explain in one simple sentence how this system really works and the power behind it. So the armory system, when you save a build, it basically takes a snapshot of your character at that current moment and saves it to this profile. So basically, wherever your skill points are placed, wherever your quick slots are placed, wherever your morphs are placed, wherever any of that stuff is, gets saved here. And then if I load up, let's say my stam build, it will then load up the current status of that character when I saved it. So let's say, for example, this would be a good way to think about it. Let's say, for example, I have Mystic Orb, you know, let's say talented on my Stam Pro or on my Magicka profile, but not talented on my Stamina profile. Even though I'm not like slotting it in either, like an either skill, when I save my build profile here, if I power up my Stam profile, it will remove the skill points from the orb but then if i use my mag profile it will put them back in it saves every skill point wherever it is like i said it's essentially just a snapshot of your character at that current moment and the reason that this system is so powerful and the reason that it's so important is because you can easily have magicka and stamina builds on a single character you could have tank builds on a character healing builds on a damage dealing character you could have one profile with vampirism one profile without vampirism and just the ability to do that gives you a lot of flexibility. You don't have to rely on add-ons nearly as much. And especially for console, now you essentially have a very, very robust system to be able to change and edit your builds. And a really cool thing about it is that once something is added to your build, it gets that little icon to the left of it, the two cross swords and the shield. So you know like, okay, this piece of gear, like this is a part of one of my armory builds. So I wanna keep this in my bags so that I always have uh, access to it. Um, it obviously doesn't save like active buff food or anything. So you are gonna need to obviously change your food as you change builds and stuff. And like I said, your Mundus, but um, it saves everything else, like takes a snapshot of it and saves it to a profile, which makes it very valuable. So guys, if you haven't already, go to, go to the crown store, get the armory table and place it somewhere in your house. If you do not have a house, you could also actually get a, like a free, like a housing voucher quest from the crown store as well. That'll allow you to go start 
like a quest to go get your first house you can just get a basic apartment and then place the uh furnishing in your apartment and then you'll be able to use it and access it but guys i know this is a pretty quick guide pretty simple i just wanted to explain really fast how the armory system actually worked because i have been talking to a lot of people who don't really know how much power the system really really does have behind it so i just wanted to showcase that to you today so you truly understood how great it was so that's why on a lot of characters going forward if you want the ability to be flexible i recommend choosing a race that can flex between both magicka stamina maybe tanking and healing if that's what you want to do just so that you can do multiple builds on one character anyway guys hope you found this video helpful if you did smack a like on it any questions about the armory system feel free to leave them below and subscribe for more eso and other mmo content thanks for stopping by appreciate it as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all next time